Hi there, it's me, Mr. B. We're going to do the factoring technique known as slide and divide. This method only works with um, polynomials of three terms. And it doesn't work for every polynomial of three terms, but for some specific ones it does. All right, so we have a, uh, a polynomial 3x squared minus 11x minus 4. Our first step here is the slide. This is where in the slide and divide. This is the slide part. Slide the a, which is the leading coefficient. This is the leading coefficient right here, that number in front of the squared term. Slide that value to the end and multiply it by c. c is the constant, which is this term right here. There's a standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. You're going to see, that's called standard form, you're going to see that kind of creeping in every now and then, especially when we get over to quadratic equations uh, later on in the semester. But I'm going to slide a to and multiply it by c. So I'm going to get 3 times 4 is 12. So I have x squared minus 11x minus 12. Okay, that's step one. Step two, I want to find two numbers that multiply to equal the constant. So I have x squared minus 11x minus 12. So I want to find two numbers that multiply to equal 12. Um, so I have a few options here. And let's see, I have the easy one, which is 1 and 12. Uh, I have uh, 2 and 6. And I have 3 and 4. Uh, so I don't have any other combination. I think I got all of them there. So now I'm going to go on to step 3. So I want to find the combination that adds or subtracts to equal the coefficient of the middle term or the x term, which is going to be this term. Now, if it's if the variable is, you know, an n, it would be the n term or whatever. But I'm just using the the um, generic form, uh, the x term. So I had one and twelve, uh, two and six, and three and four. So I'm trying to find the combination that adds or subtracts to give me negative eleven. Well. 2, time, or 2 plus 6 is 8, 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 6 is negative 4. There's no way that I can get 2 and 6 to add or subtract to get negative 11. Same with 3 and 4. 3 plus 4 is 7, 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. That's not going to work. So I'm going to use 1 and 12, and that's going to be 1 minus 12. So positive 1 and a negative 12. So 1 minus 12. Step four, I want to draw two sets of parentheses and insert the variable into each. So I'm going to open up two sets of parentheses right next to each other. And I'm going to put an x at the front of each one of them. I want to leave a little space right here because I may be putting a number in there. Not sure yet, but I may be putting a number in front of one or both of those variables. Step five, insert the numbers with signs from step number three. Okay, so I have my parentheses with my x's in the front. And my numbers from step number 3 were uh, positive 1 and negative 12. So I'm going to put those in there. So x plus 1, x minus 12. Now, if the leading coefficient is greater than 1, so that's the leading coefficient, and it in, in this case it is greater than 1, I want to divide the number parts by each factor uh, of each factor by a. Now, if that was a 1, if it was just x squared, not 3x squared, then I wouldn't really need to do this step. I'm going to do a couple examples later to show you what that looks like, but for right now, my a is greater than 1, so I have to go ahead and, and do step 6. So I have uh, x plus 1 and, um, and I have uh, x uh, minus 12. And I want to divide each number part by a. So I'm going to go like this, divide by 3, divide by 3. Okay, so now I want to simplify. So I have x plus 1 over 3, and I have x minus 12 over 3, and I want to simplify those fractions. Well, this first fraction here, I can't simplify. 1 third, that's as simple as it gets. But 12 over 3, I can simplify that. So I have x plus 1 over 3, and I have x minus 4. Okay, step 8. There's a lot of words here. If there's still a denominator in either of the factors, which there is in that first one, remember I have x um, plus 1 over 3. But in that second one, I don't have any denominators. I ended up with x minus 4. So if there's a denominator in either of the factors, so in this one I do, 
Move the denominator from the bottom of the fraction to become the coefficient of the variable. Okay, so I did the divide, and now I want to slide this 3 back in front of the x. Over here, there's, there's nothing here, so I don't need to slide anything. I'm kind of done with that um, quantity there. So it's going to end up being 3x plus 1 times x minus 4. In order to check to see if I did this right, I'm going to FOIL to check it. Now, if you did the box method or you want to call it double distributing, whatever it is, that's fine. I don't care how you do it. Choose a method that you like and stick with it. Um, I'm going to FOIL here. So I'm going to distribute the 3x first. So I have 3x times x, 3x squared. 3x times negative 4, negative 12x. And now I'm going to distribute the 1 to both terms. 1 times x is positive x. 1 times negative 4 is minus 4. Combine like terms. So those two terms combine to give me negative 11x. So I have 3x squared minus 11x minus 4, which is exactly what I started with. I know I did it right, so that means that this is my final answer. Three, the quantity 3x plus 1 times x minus 4. Let's factor n squared plus 9n plus 18. We're going to use slide and divide because there's three terms in this polynomial. By the way, I thought I'd tell you one of my favorite restaurants from when I was growing up. It's called Primani Brothers, and it's a big sandwich, and it has french fries on it and coleslaw, um, and it's huge. You can't really fit it in your mouth, but it's really, really good. Anyway, let's get back to the, to the uh, problem here. So let's start with... Um, doing the slide. So I'm going to take the coefficient in front of the n squared term and I'm going to multiply it by my c which is my constant. So 1 times 18 isn't going to change anything. So I can go ahead and find the um, two numbers that multiply to give me 18 and that's going to be 1 and 18, uh, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. And now I want to find uh, the combination that adds or subtracts to give me a positive 9. Well, there's no way to add and subtract 1 and 18. 1 plus 18 is 19. 18 minus 1 is uh, 17. 1 minus 18 is negative 17. I, I got to get a positive 9 from adding and subtracting. There's no way to do it with 2 and 9. 2 plus 9, 9 minus 2, 2 minus 9. That's not going to work. Obviously, the answer is going to be 3 and 6. So it's going to be a positive 3 and a positive 6. So now I want to open up two sets of parentheses. I'm going to put my variable in front of each set. And now I'm going to move both of these combina the both the numbers from the combination before down into the um, parentheses, and I now need to check to make sure that I want to do the divide, which is taking that leading coefficient and dividing both of those numbers in my um, my um, quantities here. But a one isn't going to change anything, so I really don't need to go any farther here. I'm just going to check it now. So I'm going to check it by foiling it. Again, you can use a box method, double distribute, whatever you call it. So n times n is n squared. n times 6 is 6n. Now distribute the 3. 3 times n is 3n. 3, 3 times 6 is 18. And 6n plus 3n is 9n. It looks like n squared plus 9n plus 18 is what I started with. So that means this is my final answer. n plus 3 times n plus 6. Let's factor z squared minus 5z minus 14 using the slide and divide method because there's three polynomials. Okay, I'm going to start by sliding the leading coefficient and multiplying it by my constant. Well, that's a 1 times negative 14, which is going to just equal negative 14, so the problem doesn't necessarily change at this point. So now I want to find the two numbers that multiply to give me 14. That's 1 and 14, and 2 and 7. That's the only combinations. And obviously, the one that's going to work here is 2 and 7. So I'm going to add and subtract 2 and 7 to get a negative 5. So I'm going to do positive 2 minus 7. Okay, I'm going to open up two sets of parentheses. I'm going to put a z in the front of each one. And I'm going to bring down my combination. So z plus 2 and z minus 7. Now, uh, I'm going to do my divide, but... Since the leading coefficient is a 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 7 divided by 1 is 7, so it doesn't really change anything. So I think that's the answer. I'm just going to go ahead and check it by foiling it. z times z is z squared. z times negative 7 is negative 7z. 2 times z is 2z. 
and 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Combine like terms, negative 7z plus 2z is negative 5z. z squared minus 5z minus 14 is what I started with, so my correct answer is z plus 2z minus 7. Let's factor 6x squared plus x minus 12 using slide and divide because it's three terms. Um, I'm going to slide the 6 to the 12, so 6 times negative 12 is negative 72, so I have x squared plus x minus 72. Next step, find the combinations that add or subtract to give me, or to, uh, that multiply to give me 72. There's a bunch of them here. 1 times 72, 2 times 36, 3 times 24, 4 times, um, let's see, 4 times 18, uh, 6 times 12, um, 8 times 9, there's a bunch. So now I need to find which of those combinations add or subtract to give me a positive 1. Um, well, 1 and 72, no way. 2 and 36, they're too far away. 3 and 24, same thing. 4 and 18, same thing. And 6 and 12, same thing. So my combination here is 8 and 9. Um, 9 minus 8 is a positive 1. So positive 9, negative 8. Open up my parentheses. Now, since my leading coefficient is bigger than 1 here, I want to leave a little room at the beginning. So I'm going to put an x and an x, leaving a little room right in front of them in case there's a coefficient in front of each. So I'm going to go x plus 9 and x minus 8. Now I need to bring my 6 in, so I'm going to do the divide of slide and divide. So I'm going to divide by 6, divide by 6. The next step is to simplify those fractions if I can, and I can actually simplify both of them. So I can do uh, x plus uh, 9 over 6 is going to give me 3 over 2. And then 8 over 6 is going to give me, I can divide both of them by 2, so that's, uh, so that's a negative, sorry, uh, minus 4 over 3. Okay, so since there's denominators left in each one of these, I'm going to slide each denominator over and put it in front of its x term. So I'm going to get uh, 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 4. And I think that's my final answer, but I'm going to go ahead and foil it. I'll foil it up here since I have a little bit of room. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. Uh, now distribute the 3. 3 times 3x is 9x. Uh, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Combine like terms, so that's negative 8x plus 9x is 1x. So I have 6x squared plus x uh, minus 12, which looks the same as this. So my final answer is 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 4. Okay, let's do this one quickly. Let's factor 5y squared minus 2y minus 3. I'm going to use slide and divide because it's three terms. Slide the 5 to the negative 3. So y squared minus 2y minus 15. Um, I'm going to find my combinations. So 1 and 15, uh, 3 and 5, and those are my only combinations. So now I have to add and subtract one of those combinations to get a negative 2. 1 and 15 is not going to work. It's going to be 3 and 5. I want to make sure I get my signs right. So positive 3 minus 5. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Open up my parentheses. Now my, my leading coefficient is bigger than 1, so I want to leave a little room. Uh, and then I'm going to go y plus 3, y minus 5. Now I want to do the divide, so I'm going to bring my leading coefficient of 5 back and divide each of those numbers by 5. I can't simplify 3 over 5, but I can simplify 5 over 5. That's just going to give me 1, so I'm going to end up with y plus 3 over 5 times y minus 1. Okay, so I have a denominator here in the first quantity, so I'm going to bring that 5 and slide it back over to the y. So I have 5y plus 3 times y minus 1. I'm going to go ahead and FOIL just to check. So 5y times y is 5y squared. 5y times negative 1 is negative 5y. 3 times y is 3y. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Uh, combine like terms. 
negative 5y plus 3y is negative 2y. 5y squared minus 2y minus 3 is what I started with, so my correct answer is 5y plus 3 times y minus 1.